So we've come to a season that, I, as far as I'm concerned, all of heaven has been waiting for this season for a long time. You know, if there's a party in heaven over one soul, I can't imagine what's going to be happening in heaven over the last, next couple of decades when a billion people come into the kingdom. Billions. So we've come to this. Now, my brother has a phrase he used, God gave him recently, Tim Sheets. And... I don't know that he'd ever heard me say time catches up with a decree, but he, he was speaking and he wrote it in this book. I'm going to read a page in just a minute. He said in prayer, he heard the Holy Spirit say to him, many prophecies and promises have intersected their time. Oh, that's just another way of saying it, but it's a good way of saying it. So I want to read a page from this book. It's called The New Era of Glory. Wish I had some out there, but you can get it on the Amazon or go to his website and order it. It is a tremendous book. Um, I wish he was here because when we minister together, I always tell people we're running a special day. Buy one of my books, he'll give you one of his free. <laughs> that works well in, unless he speaks after me. If he speaks after me, it doesn't work well. So he says this. 1 Timothy 1.18 in the message reads, I'm passing this work on to you, my son Timothy. Now that's Ephesus. That's what he's passing on. Ephesus is a, there's a huge move of God in Ephesus. Paul's going to move on now. He's going to leave this young man there. And it's a very challenging assignment for a young man. And he He's having a lot of difficulty. He's having culture, the, the, the city and demons are fighting him and people are fighting him. Can, can you imagine that? And they're, 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 even believers are fighting him. Can you imagine that? The demon, I mean the deacon committees and people like that. Anyway, not all demons are de deacons are demons, by the way. I shouldn't have said that. I need the front row to be quiet. You're distracting me. <laughs> anyway. So Paul writes Timothy a couple letters. He says things like, don't let them despise your youth. And he doesn't just pat him on the back and comfort him. He talks to him as a son and he says, come on, I need you to get it together. I need you to rise up like a soldier. I need you to fight the good fight of faith. I need you to stir up those gifts in you. I need, to get the pro I need you to get the prophecies out we spoke over you and start warring with them. I need you to start speaking them over yourself. You don't have a spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind. So he's encouraging Timothy, but he's also giving him a little kick in the seat of the pants, saying, come on, man. You're bigger than this. You're able to do it. Now rise up and do this. So that's the context. I'm passing this work on to you, my son, Timothy. The prophetic word that was directed to you prepared us for this. That's a good word. This is the message, by the way, 1 Timothy 1. Listen to this phrase. All those prayers are coming together now. That's what Paul said to Timothy. All those prayers. See, some prayers are not for now. You prayed some prayers 10 years ago that were for now. All those prayers are coming together now. So 
you will do this well, fearless in your struggle. So he goes on to say, my, this is now my brother writing, not, not the verse. All the prayers are now coming together. The prophetic words. Did I tell you the name of the book? Okay, because I want you to be able to order it if you want. It's called The New Era of Glory. The prophetic words and decrees of faith from long ago are coming together like a battering ram opening doors to a new season. They have prepared us to rise up and define this moment. Strategies of good warfare are providing pathways to victory after victory after victory. We are in a different era. I started calling this about a year ago a new era, not just a new season. It's too different to just say a new season. We are in a different era. We are not fighting the same battles we used to fight. We are fighting to engage in victories, not just survive. We are not in survival mode. We are in obtaining mode. And that must become our mindset. It's time to obtain the victories. This era is going to be marked by a church that is triumphant and moving in victory. The world has never seen anything quite like the New Testament church that's going to arise. The prayers, the all-nighters, the tears of intercession, the Lord says, are all coming together now. The identity of the New Testament church is entering a destiny change to represent Christ and his kingdom government as intended. We are now entering into a supernatural era, the most supernatural era that the kingdom of God has ever had on the earth. Now, I just want to pause for a second. Because you, you, you sort of, you, 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 need, you need to ask yourself, do I believe that? That's not a quote from scripture. That's what he's saying. If you believe it, that is a profound statement. Yes. I believe it's the word of the Lord. Yes. I'm going to read it again. We are entering a supernatural era. The most supernatural era that the kingdom of God has ever had on the earth. We are pregnant with promises that are about to be birthed. This is the era of open doors for miracles and the completion of miracles that we've been standing for. We are moving into a miraculous movement moment. A movement that moves. Isn't it great? To believe we're, we're going to be a part of a movement that moves. You've been a part of a movement that didn't move? It is now intersecting its moment. It is now intersecting its moment. End from the beginning. Time catches up. It is now intersecting its idios kairos. And that changes everything, he says. Time dictates activity. Look up here, please. Kronos, Kairos, Horeos, Pleros, Plerao. You have to know where you are in time before you know, can know what to do. Because if it's harvest time and you're out there with a plow, you're going to destroy it. You're not, you're not going to get the harvest. 